It's back to work this week for millions of Americans who have spent a long weekend feasting on pie. If your belt feels a little snug tomorrow, know that you're not alone. A couple of guys from Utah County understand the frustrations of fluctuating weight. And tonight in the sponsored segment, Ali Monson shows us their mission to give customers one belt that fits forever. A basic strap. No holes. It's really simple. A shiny buckle and a built-in ratchet that fluctuates by fractions of an inch. With each and every one of these teeth, you have a different size. Three components that seem simple separately, but together create what might be the last belt you ever buy. It's never too big, never too small, always perfect. It's a concept childhood friends Zach Holtzeffel and Jeff Jensen say they always knew would take off. What they weren't initially prepared for was just how quickly that would happen. Next into the tank is Nate Holtzaffel. Shortly after launching their company, Mission Belt, back in 2012, Zach's savvy salesman brother Nate wowed investors on ABC's Shark Tank and scored them a deal with Damon John. I'm in. Wow. I'm in. Done. That's a deal. Today, the Provo based company has sold nearly 2 million Mission Belts and raked in more than $25 million with the help so of its 35 WBK. employees. That's what I'm going with, Steel WBK. And as business expands, so does inventory. Right now, the guys are buckling down on a business plan to roll out a women's line next year. You like the prototype? This is our warehouse. This is where the magic happens. The best um, part, the investors want others to succeed, too. For every belt they sell, they put $1 toward funding microloans in less developed countries. Here in America, we have easy access to capital. We have banks. We can get a loan to start our business. But a lot of people in the world don't have that opportunity. From helping their Panamanian friend Luis start a transportation business to their 75,000 other loans around the world. $50, $100, $300, so they can buy chickens, buy a cow, buy some equipment for their farm, and become self-sustaining and independent. The philanthropic business owners are finding personal fulfillment in their work with the mission behind their belts. And that combination, they say, is something they hope aspiring entrepreneurs will realize just clicks. Jump two feet in, because an entrepreneur, you got to gamble a little bit. You have to commit, and you just need to prepare to be successful. In Provo, with another Utah success story, I'm Ali Monson. I could use one of those.